Hi, you guys. So I wanted to come on and touch on this whole story with Christian and his father, Herschel Walker. I'm going to let you guys listen to Christian, and then I'm going to play what Herschel Walker had to say in an interview with Fox News. Um, let me know what you guys think about all of this. You know, I was thinking about it. It's possible that Hersh I mean, not Herschel, um, Christian did not know some of the stuff about his father. Um, you know, maybe his mother tried to shield him from that. My thing is some other stories, however, about him, like I said this before in one of my videos, um, is already out here. And he could have easily just read about it as well because he left the first wife for his mother and then he left her for some other woman and I think he has a small child in the marriage that he's in now right with somebody outside of the marriage so he just has a history of doing that and so um, you know you're creating these kids in the home and outside of it and then you're leaving the ones that are in the house with you to go to somebody else. And then when you get ready to leave them, you leave those children. It's kind of that. I do think that he has like some kids outside, just out, you know, with random women. Um, but I agree with Christian. You know, be honest about your situation, about who you are. Don't say this was a thing in the past when you, you have a small child out here right now. <laughs> um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next video i stayed silent as the atrocities committed against my mom were downplayed i stayed silent when it came out that my father herschel walker had all these random kids across the country none of whom he raised and you know my favorite issue to talk about is father absence surprise because it affected me that's why i talk about it all the time because it affected me family values people he has four kids four different women wasn't in the house raising one of them he was out having sex with other women. Do you care about family values? I was silent lie after lie after lie. The abortion card drops yesterday. It's literally his handwriting in the card. They say they have receipts, whatever. He gets on Twitter. He lies about it. Okay, I'm done. Done. Everything has been a lie. And so for the right to say I'm being suspicious for saying, hey, I'm, I'm done with the lies, when you all have been calling me saying, is this true about your dad? Gosh, we're not going to win Georgia, this candidate all. That's been you. You have no idea what I've been through in my life. You have no idea what me and my mom have survived. We could have ended this on day one. We haven't. I haven't told any stories. I'm just saying, don't lie. Don't lie on my mom. Don't lie on me. Don't lie on the lives you've destroyed and act like you're some moral family man. Y'all should care about that, conservatives. And then for people on the left to act as though I'm responsible for all of the things that he has done. I've talked about Father Epps. I've talked all these issues because they've been close to me. Because they matter to me. Because I went through it. That's why I've talked about it. So when you say, well, talk about your dad. But I am. I'm saying this behavior is atrocious. Don't come for me. You don't have to like my policy. You don't have to like me. You don't have to. I'm just saying I'm done with the lies. We were told at the beginning of this, he was going to get ahead of his past, hold himself accountable, all of these different things. And that would have been fine. Go ahead. He didn't do any of that. Everything's been a lie. Everything's been downplayed. Everything's been cutting corners. The whole thing. And who, who is, whose expense is that at? Me, my mom, as we're chased down by the media, uh, we're, we're terrorized, all these different things. Uh, uh, people are questioning my authenticity. I'm done. Don't lie. Don't put this on me. You, this is a candidate issue, not a me issue. I wouldn't have spoken out if there weren't all these lies every day. And just two more things I have to address, and then I'm done with this buffoonery nutjob land. This is atrocious. People on the right are pulling up that I did a campaign event with my dad last year. They're saying, well, you supported them all last year and all this year. You look suspicious. No, no, no. You all have been calling me saying, why aren't you on the campaign trail with your dad? Why aren't you helping him out? This looks weird. You should go help him. And I've said to you calmly, I'm not getting involved. You don't know my family life. I did one event last year when we were told he was going to get ahead of his past and hold himself accountable. None of that happened. Everything's been a lie. So for me to tell you I'm not getting involved and then you also be flooding my DMs and calling me saying, I didn't know all this about your dad. We're going to lose the Senate race. And then when I simply say I'm done with the lies, you go, well, Christian looks suspicious. Excuse me? I haven't told one story about what I experienced with him. I'm just simply saying, don't lie. And then for, for certain political pundits to be 
pulling up old pictures I posted of my dad, thinking they can police and, and determine what my relationship with my dad was. If you want to pull stuff up, I'll pull stuff up. Don't try me. Don't test my authenticity. All of this has been a lie and you've known it. You've known. So don't you dare. And then to the left who says, well, he did all this to your mom and you were still with him. And you know, that's weird. You know nothing about my life. My parents went through a dirty divorce. I went through a lot as a child. And, and you don't know anything. You don't know the ebbs and flows of our relationship. Nobody knows anything. So for everyone making these wild theories and whatever, that, that, that's crazy. This is about a bunch of lies. Again, I could, if I had an issue with whatever, I could have ended this day. Well, that's not my intention. My intention is don't lie about your life at the expense of me, my mom, and all of the people that you've affected throughout your life. You don't get to pretend you're some moral family guy. You don't get to pretend all these things. Talk policy, talk normal, do not lie. This is exactly what the Democrats do. They've, they've figured out they're going to lose. Herschel's gonna win, so they're gonna throw everything under the sun at him. Uh, I talked to Herschel today. Herschel is a great candidate. He's focused on the right issues. And it's neck and neck race. And of course, what Senator Rick Scott's referring to is a series of revelations. With less than five weeks until Election Day, GOP leadership is rallying around Georgia State, Georgia Senate candidate Herschel Walker. This in the wake of a Daily Beast report claiming the political newcomer football standout paid for an ex-girlfriend's abortion back in 2009. In fact, uh, she even produced a card. She said a check arrived in to pay for it. Uh, just over about uh, about seven hundred dollars. Herschel Walker joins us now. Herschel has been a uh, been a tornado over the last forty eight hours. I watched you with Sean the other night. Uh, this, according to the Daily Beast, you know this woman, even though her identity is not known. Do you, do you have you figured out who it is? Uh, not at all, and that's what I, I hope everyone can see. It's sort of like everyone is anonymous, or everyone is leaking, and. They want you to confess to something you have no clue about, but it just shows how desperate they are right now. They see me as a big threat, and I know that, and I knew it when I got into this race, but they don't realize that I think they came for the wrong one. They, they energize me. They energize me because I know how they really want to try to keep this seat, and if I let them keep this seat, that means we're going to have high taxes. That means that this board is going to stay wide open. That means we're going to have crime on the street. Well, that's the reason I came. Mm. Uh, we can't do that. And, and you I, could honestly gonna, say... And they've energized me to get out and fight. And you don't, you, the Republicans obviously uh, more than likely cannot hold... Uh, the, can I get the Senate back without uh, winning up your seat? So just real quick, this is the card that this woman said uh, that you wrote to her with the check inside to get an abortion. And the reason why it's significant is because you, you're for, uh, you know, you're, you're pro-life. You're for zero, uh, uh, zero weeks when it comes to abortion. Uh, and here's the card, and you signed it. Do you, you've had a chance to look at this now online and on Sean Hannity's show. Is that you? Yeah, that, uh, that's what I said, uh, Sean. That looks like my signature. First of all, I never just put an H on anything. I never have. And, and, I, and I said, you know, you know how many things I've signed, but I've never signed anything but just an H. And, and, I, and I said, that's why I said, whoever is doing this, is you know it's not true, it's a lie. Right. And right now, that's the reason I say I'm going to fight because, you know, I've been redeemed. That's one thing about it. I've been redeemed. And I'm going to make this statement here. It's like they're trying to uh, bring up my past to hurt me, but they don't know, like, bringing up my past only energized me to go out and fight even right. harder because I've been to 400 bases to talk about my book. And I'm not trying to sell books here because I knew the pain it had through mental health. And right now, they're trying to do anything in their power to take this seat but they're not going to take right. it from Herschel Walker. So then this right came now, out. I love the Lord Jesus, and I got right. into this race because of my faith, because I see what's happening. And you do say in your book, and we, we did a feature with you for two days. In your book, you had mental health problems. You addressed it, and you're also an inspiration for that. Uh, here's what your son surprised a lot of us uh, because he's been some, he's had tweeted uh, positive things for you. He's an influencer, a conservative. Uh, and this is what he came out and said after this revelation and your appearance with Sean. Listen. My intention is don't lie about your life at the expense of me, my mom, and all of the people that you've affected throughout your life. You don't get to pretend you're some moral family guy. You don't get to pretend all these things. Talk policy, talk normal, do not lie. So he saw that and says, you're lying, Herschel. What do you say about your son? Is he telling the truth? 
Well, I love my son unconditionally, and I, that's where I've always been. I always love him unconditionally. You know, he graduated college uh, a couple of months ago. He's now a young man doing his own thing, but his father is always there for him. I always will be for any, any of my kids, and I love him. I always support him, and I always have supported him, and I always will, and I love him unconditionally. But he's doing uh, tremendous damage to you by coming out with those statements. Do you know why he's saying this? Well, the damage he's doing is letting people know that the left will do whatever they can to win the seat. And I told you when I got in this race, I'm going to win this seat. People see someone sitting here in front of you right now that's been redeemed. And I want America to know I'm living proof that you can make mistakes and get up and keep going forward, but you can only do it in this country right here. And you can only do it if we get this election red, correct this come November, because we vote for the people on the left, like the guy running against Senator Warnock, you're not going to have a chance to be redeemed. He's a minister, and he don't believe, he don't believe in redemption. Right now, they're trying to destroy right. America. They're trying to destroy Georgia, and I'm not going to let them happen. It ain't going to happen on my watch. And he went on to tweet. He said, I stayed silent as the atrocities committed against my mom was downplayed. I stayed silent when it came out uh, that my father, Herschel Walker, had all these random kids across the country, none of whom he raised. What do you say to that? Well, what I say to that is just what I said. I love him unconditionally. I wrote about everything in my book. People can read the book. I wrote about it. I buried my whole soul out in the book. I was forgiven. The Lord has forgiven me. Like I said, I'm a Christian. I will always be a Christian. That's the reason I got into this race, because I see things that are going wrong that's not right in this country. They're trying to separate us. They're trying to divide us. Well, I want to bring people together. That's the way I've always been. I don't care who you are. And whether you have fallen down, I'm telling you you can get up. I'm telling you that you can have success if you're willing to admit your problem right. and get up and keep going forward. But they want, to, they want to take this seat away. They need this seat here in Georgia. And I'm telling everyone out there, and I, I'm not trying to promote anything here, you got to go to teamherschel.com. Let's keep this seat. Right. I can promise you I'm going to win this seat. So, Herschel, you're saying that you weren't the perfect dad or the perfect spouse, but you've been redeemed. Is that what you're saying? Oh, that's exactly what I'm saying. I, no one is perfect. You know, I even said at a, at a meeting, I'm a sinner. We all sin before the glory of God. But every day I get up in the morning, I pray to God to let me do his will. And that's the reason I'm in this race right now. When I see people getting hurt on the street, the crime that's going on right now, the crime is going on because of Senator Warnock and Joe Biden. I see the crime going on. It seems like nobody want to hold anyone accountable for. I said, not on my watch. I see the way this economy is. And they saying, we're not right. in. It's, it's OK. Well, it's not. This is, a, this is a new normal. Well, it's not. And I want people out there to know right. it's not a new normal. And if I told them, if I had to fight alone, I'm willing to fight. I love America. I will fight for America. I'll fight for Georgia. And that's the reason I got into this race. You had 250 people pack a church last night in support of you, and you've already raised over $500,000 since Sean Hannity's interview last night. And so you still have, it uh, seems like your backing is still there. Uh, thanks so much for coming on and explaining. Uh, oh, what is I know you are not calling me an attention whore when your whole little thing has been chasing rappers around who didn't even know your name except for your one night stand you had. Oh, and I've also seen the videos that are all online. The videos you filmed, I've seen those too. You better think before you try to come for me. Thank you. Love it.